请收看《大宝法王慈悲开示》。I'm very happy to be together with you at this gathering that was organized by Kamadodun Kunkabling and and uh, very happy to see you all. Welcome. In 2008, I had the opportunity to visit the actual Dharma Center of Gagyu Drudun Gunkab, and uh, it was very crowded because I, I, I heard that not even all of the members can fit inside the Dharma Center. There are so many members. And so I think uh, Lamala gained some experience from that occasion. And this time he decided to rent a hall for the talk. <laughs> and 
uh, I heard that there was a talk today, but I didn't hear what the topic was. And Lamala, <laughs> Lamala told me there's no special topic. I could uh, teach about whatever I wanted. I could talk about whatever I wanted. So since there's no special topic, then it becomes kind of tricky. I don't quite know what to say. I think I, the translator, don't know what to say. I might have misphrased that a little bit, but. Um, <laughs> The person Quran formal Shira means and formal shell the color of Stuba. And the Indian Sanem. And the Chidangi and him Kajre Yangam Gundi Juduba and the end of the Chamberger, the Miset Javayo de Vistu Sadi Ore, and Anna Sing called Miss Tisena. And no surely, a pure number sang give it. That young sang give it temper. And the non pure number sang give it temper, being a sure ten to Chadi or a and the Indusani, Gansu Nanone, Cassia, Dede, Konda, and Java ever summer way. That do Chadi or some to Stingado and the Indusan did you then then and a. Narainia, that other bodu, she gave up Lia, gave up Nizilia, mother, draw to your money. That dinane, a miscalia, that thing, that it is super, and just a misagi, Catre, Nyagi, Samuel Narolia, Yama, Shudrupal, the energy, a miscagi, Devati, summer weather, she lemming Devati. Saboya Vinza. The Jagi, Junzel Tene, Araina, Yani Anto de Yonto Petrich, the Lechi, um, Chumad Vichilian, Zito Shuya Shai. Lasa? I think most of the attendees of today's talk are uh, students of Buddhism. And therefore, I thought it would be suitable to teach on some kind of formal topic. But the challenge is that I myself am not a very formal person. So we'll see what happens with regard to that. But in general, it is wonderful to be here in the United States of America because as you know, His Holiness the 16th Gelang Karmapa had a very strong connection with the United States of America. And I think that he was one of the earliest masters to strongly propagate the teachings of Buddha Dharma in the West. And so, furthermore, I think that there are many uh, of the students gathered here who had a very strong connection with His Holiness the 16th Gyawang Karmapa. In terms of my own travels, I've only been able to visit two foreign countries so far in my life, the United States, of course, being one of them. And uh, since the United States had such a profound connection with His Holiness the 16th Gyawang Karmapa, I personally uh, regard the U.S. as a place that uh, would be very beneficial for me to return to again and again. Right, and so this, of course, being my third trip to the United States. And, uh, <laughs> Uh, 
ตัดเด็กกับเพื่อนพิมพ์ช่วยกันยามนี้เช้าตั้งตาหน้าสิงกี้เอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเอ่อเ
but some formal practice, I think, is very good to do because it's similar to a time of day where we take to recharge our batteries. Throughout the day, we become very exhausted. We have many things to do. Our minds become quite disturbed sometimes due to all of this. And therefore, it's very helpful to set aside some time where we're only concentrating on relaxing our body and mind. This helps to pacify our mind and to tame our mind. And I think that for this reason, formal practice is very important. Relax, relax, this is my issue. She was a child, did some, my ก็ครับเลยเอ่อตัดดีลิงเซียนแล้วนะก็สรีลาซัมตาที่สร้างอุณหภูมิที่เพื่อเกิดอินดิชั่นเซชั่วมันเตสเซียนนะอันเนี่
那些中等的不是那些的那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些那些
that is what needs to be transformed. That's what you need to put effort into letting go. And that's a difficult process. It's not easy. It can be intense. Mm Mishin So I think the Dharma is definitely about uh, transforming our personality in some sense because uh, if we're someone who has a strong character that involves anger or lots of jealousy, then that's something that needs to be transformed by the Dharma. And later on, we can become actually someone who doesn't have much anger, who is not very jealous, who is humble, and so forth. So by changing ourselves as a person, then our life is transformed as well. In Buddhism, we talk about karma a lot, and sometimes we interpret that to mean that everything is fixed in place. We can't change anything because it's all been arranged by karma. But that's not the case. We can change our mind, we can transform our mind, transform our personality through the Dharma, and by transforming our mind and personality through the Dharma, we can change our life. So this can actually give us hope and show us that there is actually a future ahead of us full of potential, full of positive potential. For example, we might not be someone who is well-liked at present, but if we transform our habits, then we can be actually someone who is liked and regarded well by others. But to get to this level or state of transformation, it's not going to benefit if we just try to change our body alone or our physical demeanor. If we just were to rely on engaging in rituals and doing mudras from a physical perspective, it would be difficult to bring a true transformation about. In the same way, it's not beneficial to just change our speech to saying mantras or 
uttering the word compassion over and over again and so forth, what we really need to work on is our mind. That's the main thing. Through changing our mind, we change our personality. Through changing our personality, we change our life. And that is what we should put effort towards. ตัดดิตะกินโมซาดิจิกะรเวจิเตเลยาจิมิทุนบิชอดมิทุนบิชอดสมรวะตะจิอะกะรลองดาอืมทุนชอกตะยวนเดนซิยาเกตอนอะม
Masane and Jiba. That in the Jiggy, the social choice chick, that in the new barbish choice, new barbish, a tongue over. Lassa? Sane and Jiba, Masane and Jibuchi. Madobe and to control Lion Golia, Rawan Eva. Masa come in with the Jig, Nedan of Chumi Miller, and the Shira, the new Togo, Marchesa, Tana and Tambodi, and the Jig, new Jig Togo. Lassa? So ultimately, we have to be able to get to a place where we have the ability uh, to relate to our anger in a way that we're not just at the whim of our own anger. So if, we're in a, if we come to the point where we can choose between getting angry or not getting angry, then that means we've gained some ability. But if we fall into anger uh, in a helpless way, where we don't have any choice or control whatsoever, then we still have not gained any power of our own or ability in relation to our emotions. Kanda da jinji shuadi, kanda numor yam dasadi, masulia kashwe. The cho nini summer. Um. A tanga zuda ji. Traditionally, Gain的 Nimbo Kadejak, Nubadi, Mazutu, collect some of that. Did you wish you are that? Did you that the name Nibadi, Karcher or Sana? Nibadi, you more barriers, more share some, you more basal condition, more share, see them. Dana singi, um. Mosene, that is the Kashre Nyomo Badan, the Susu Assembly, a distant summer way. The Dantar of Shatuas. That is the case with Chadi others. Lassam? Kesi, Major Chilo and Daji, Chamba the Nigeria Sopa Mambozi, Gombe, that the two new Chevy Binia, Nang Semlia. Same da, the new model ya, the casual distance to be shabby every chair. And then it's the energy same, the new model is kind of almost like inseparable with char, the rib char, you mean? And then it's the then I'm doing as it is so that revolution some the new model ya, the casual, um, that you love it, some person and dando, simple of some person and dando. That in Jiji, maybe Mina, that the name Chi Nabalia Mazuji, Mongols having Mina, Tendam Coralia, Pneumonia, Nimbor Jotuachi, the Pneumonia to other Kakos. Lasso. You could say that there are two stages of relating to the Klesias or working with the Klesias. Uh, and whenever I say kleshas, for those of you who aren't familiar, we could say that means mental afflictions or disturbing emotions, destructive emotions, negative mental patterns, and so forth, is all klesha. So when we relate to the kleshas or try to transform the kleshas, there are two basic stages. We could call one an outer stage and one an inner stage. Uh, the outer stage involves the formal aspect where we 
engage in meditation. We engage in the forms and following the instructions of meditation. We engage in study as well as reflection and contemplation about the meaning of uh, what we have been taught. And through this, we collect the methods or tools that serve as antidotes or that will serve as antidotes to the mental afflictions. At the second stage, that's the more internal level where we actually recognize the mental afflictions that are present in our own mind stream. Having recognized them, we can then start to set some distance between our own mind on the one hand and the mental affliction on the other hand. And it's very important to have this distance be present between our mind and the mental afflictions as a result of our practice. If we practice and practice, but still end up in a place where there is no separation between our mind and the mental afflictions at all, no distance between these two things at all, then our practice really isn't uh, penetrating through to the key point. So to help this along, to help there to eventually, through our practice, um, arise a distance between our mind and the mental afflictions, we need what is called revulsion we need some attitude of disgust or uh, revulsion toward our mental afflictions and a desire to part from them. If we don't have that revulsion, then it's going to be difficult for us to get past the mere outer stage of just going through the forms of meditation it will be difficult for us to arrive at the ultimate purpose of meditation in terms of parting from our mental afflictions. Siddhanta, a new moon somewhere, mental emotion, the disturbing emotion, and that tells you that you miss so 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 ちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちちち
People have different emotional makeups. So that means that uh, what's a strong mental affliction for some person isn't necessarily going to be the strongest mental affliction for a different person. Basically, the Buddhist teachings talk about three poisons of the mind, pointing to the three root mental afflictions of desire, aggression, and bewilderment, which of course can be translated in various ways. And these three in turn have many subcategories in the teachings, but these three are kind of like the central um, the central network for all of the other disturbing emotions or mental afflictions to develop. If we look at aggression or anger in particular, we can see that it is perhaps the easiest mental affliction to recognize and also the easiest to identify as problematic. But if we look at desire, it might be a little bit difficult to recognize, more difficult to recognize, and particularly sometimes uh, more difficult to identify as problematic in comparison with anger. And then with regard to bewilderment or uh, ignorance, uh, that is a mental affliction that is taught a lot about in the texts and by the great masters, but just teachings from texts and masters aren't enough. We need to recognize its presence in our own mind stream, in our own experience, and bring that into our practice. But that, in turn, is very difficult. Uh, it can run very deep in our mind stream. And so uh, there is no uh, uniformity with regard to which kleshas are the strongest in which individuals. Uh, in any case, when we set about to transform our negative emotions, it's very difficult to gain success, as it were, or to gain victory from the very beginning. And therefore, what's really important is for us to have a strong sense of resolve, have a strength of heart, and have a sense of encouragement and um, fortitude when we set about to work with our mind and work with our emotions because what will inevitably happen is that we're going to experience defeat. We're going to try to relinquish our negative emotions or try to transform our mind and we're going to fail. Uh, so we should have the attitude that if we fail 10 times, that just means we're going to try 100 more times. Uh, if we didn't give rise to that firm encouragement of ourselves in the beginning, then it might be challenging because maybe we could take one defeat uh, or one instance of failure, but then after two or three instances of, fa of failure, we'd be pretty much ready to give up. So uh, having this strong resolve in the beginning and an attitude that we're not just going to completely uh, bow down to our negative emotions is very important. <laughs> Did 
你要老人都去，我就用都送的。那等于等于去那些，像你这些的，当那些，我是上网了呀，上班的你这三百四十年长的，伢那上班的你这一个的，看不着的，伢是上网了呀，俺几多年不是越来越多去，啥？人家天天
Did you so I ever summer me? Simja Tamzelia and didn't do that. Dung aging, Simja Tamzelia and didn't she carry Gombati? That gets him some chatty or what? Last thing you stand dig you the dinner, that did the mission. What they are again, you again draw out, so simk, you put the mission again draw to say. That day, that is which I may win the one drug lungs in the roaches in the sundo, that's a one drug lung in the wings. That's up. <clears throat> it seems that we're running out of time for our session together. So the main point that I wanted to make about compassion uh, is that compassion is a little bit more than just sympathy or even just empathy. It's something that entails more dedication and a heart that entails more involvement in action. So compassion isn't just the mind or heart that understands or feels for the suffering of others or has um, warm sentiments toward others. Rather, compassion is the mind that realizes that the sufferings of others are actually a part of oneself. And within that attitude, the heart that bears unbearable love for sentient beings. So, therefore, to meditate on compassion is to further cultivate and nurture this awareness that one's happiness and suffering is the happiness and suffering of all sentient beings. The happiness and suffering of all sentient beings is the happiness and suffering of oneself. And when we meditate in this way, our compassion will increase, and it will increase step by step in gradual stages. So that is what I'd like to say about compassion for this morning. And additionally, I've been requested to give a lung, or a scriptural transmission, for uh, the text that I composed on uh, the preliminary practices, brief recitations for the four preliminary <laughs> practices. So I will recite this scriptural transmission now. Chile <laughs> Yeah, I was in the